Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 3. If you guys have been following along for the last 53 episodes, you will notice something different. A lot different, in fact. I'll let you guys parse that out for a little bit, but I can't I can barely contain myself. I got a new monitor and it looks Amazing. It's, uh, I'm actually a little giddy. Which shame, it's a shame, because today we're just going to, uh, do a lot of talking, unfortunately. I think. I think that's what we're doing. Yes, visit Gamlin. He's gonna talk to us about our mom. So yeah, just enjoying the new monitor. Gonna get the HDMI cable tomorrow, which will have already been happening when you guys watch this because the Stark Haven called for its lost prince, Sebastian. Oh, I, we still have Sebastian. If the city has moved on, like Ferelden moved on after Kayla. Shut up. You've been reading. It's a good tale. King Alistair is particularly inspiring. So let's check I our. Know. I haven't played this game in like three weeks. That is really. Check on Anders, yep, okay. Speed Defenders and Faith. Oh, that's why we have Sebastian. We actually should go do that. So, ignore me, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually going to go and do a quest. Just so that we can be done. Because after this, we don't see Sebastian until the very end of the game. And that is pretty effing cool. I, ooh, I have not gone and killed the rogue gallery that will attack us here um i will do that off camera of course as i did the last chapter and i should have done it in the first chapter but you know this, this is really this was my first game that i ever let's played and it's it's nearing its end and that's both disappointing sad and Amazing, all in one swirling torrent of emotions. The, the 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 graphics, man, though, are are astounding. It's a shame I didn't have this monitor four months ago. And here we go. We get our f you piece of crap. So yeah, the high town enemies are actually awful, terrible mages, and they're all blood mages. We need to kill him. We need to kill him fast. Just kicking back, relaxing, and getting a little bit more backlog, other than, you know, any other thing else. Ah, oh, there's so many enemies. And they only count for one combat, and that sucks. But things look amazing. I really am quite, quite pleased. The only other game that I've done on camera up to this point has been Jamestown, and uh, that's a 16 to 32 bit era style game, so it really didn't showcase just how uh, astounding this all really is. Yes. I've only done this quest once. <clears throat> Not much more to say about that. Don't mind us. We shouldn't be here, but hello again, champion. Well, hi. Glad that you... the Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. Don't worry about it. And here we are. So it was a setup. So, even the divine Why is it up top now? there, not in the bottom? She should. That's weird. Kill the spies. We need to get rid of you as fast as possible. But 
yeah, a lot of mages, and that's terrible. Seriously, there's blood mages everywhere in this city. The city is st fucking filthy with blood mages. It actually makes you think that maybe the Templar are onto something. I don't support the Templar. Their methods are both extreme and monstrous, and you're gonna blow up, and that's pretty awesome. Two rage demons, that's a problem. Not particularly, actually. Although they're now both here, and that kind of sucks. I wish I had this monitor when I was fighting the Aeroshock. That would have been freaking amazing. That's actually my favorite fight in the entire game, other than the end fight in Mark of the Assassin, which you guys saw a couple weeks ago, which really, really impresses me. So if you guys have played the first game, we'll be seeing a familiar face. And Leandra, I think I mispronounced her name, but I don't the care. The Resolutionist. I might have known they would be part of So this. I think this is set up for the next game, which is cool. I hardly imagine the divine secret agent looking like you. That is why I am effective. The divine has long suspected that Kirkhall's problems were spurred by an See, I group. really dislike this and I'll, ex this I'll explain why after. Is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react, which condemns them. No, I don't know. Will the Divine send soldiers? Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates. How can that Shut possibly... Up. <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orlais. She will not be safe here. You're right about that! Spoiler alert. These mages are out oh, of control. Shut up. All right. So, my, my problem with this is, as we get further and further, because we actually didn't even touch the main story of this game yet, as we get further and further into the game, you'll see more and more blood mages, as you saw, just with what we did here. Pinning it on an outside group, while sensible, kind of smacks into the face of... Why wasn't this included in the main game? And the answer, ladies and gentlemen, is because time constraints. Wow, it just turned day. You know, if you have time, I could give you a few archers. Oh yes. Excuse me. Sometimes your shots veer a little left. I thought maybe your cocking ring was off. You're the captain of the guard. I could take a look if you like. You have my thanks. You want to touch <clears throat> Bianca's cocking ring? It was just a thought. They don't like each other. How at all. So we're gonna get this chest, which I've never seen before. We're gonna do the Kunari blades. I will show you where all of them are at some point. I will also explain what we're gonna do with them when we go about doing that. I believe we should just go talk to Fenris. I really don't know. Um, I don't want to make this episode too short. Let's see if there's anything on the Chanter's board. I'm pretty sure there's not. Nope. In the first game, there was quite a lot of quests that you got via that method, but not this time, it seems. Calm at the moment, but even Hightown has its trouble. Oh, shut up, Aveline. Man, that should be it. Yep. So we will go talk to Fenris, and then we will end the episode. Taking it slow, we're in the last stretch, more or less, so... Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. 
and alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Bet you have. Then he is fast of us. Maybe it's just me, but I'd swear you're upset. Nah, <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. Stop moving I around. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. Yes, everything's gone exactly according to plan. What could be worse? Yes, yes, laugh at me. Come with me, Hawk. If this is a trap, I need someone who can fight to back me up. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. I know you owe me no favors, but if we happen to go there anyway... Well, we'll go there. But that will be for another episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching.